So could you all kind of explain to us, uh, as do, to the community, what y'all do with your art? Uh, all my art, personally, whether it's street art or technology driven or installation art, is usually about our relationship with technology. Oh, okay. And forces that are kind of beyond our control, um, like mass consumerism. 2020 is a very strange year. Uh, all the forces of darkness seem to be here at once. <laughs> You're right. Um, so I like to combine mediums uh, and layer different uh -huh. uh, ideas as well as tools and materials. Um, so one example is, uh, this is a print of a paste that I did this year. It's popped up around Soho a few places. Um, but it also has an augmented reality layer. Yeah, wow. Hold on, let me get that. Wow, how do you do that? Well, I actually was a game developer for a long time, so uh, I create my own apps to go with a lot of my own artwork. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Um, so, hold on, let, let me, let, I'm kind of confused. I'm sorry. No, listen. <laughs> I'm going fast. So, is that, did you put some on the painting it to It recognizes make... the image. Uh-huh. Um, actually, Abby, if you stand up and demonstrate, yeah, it recognizes the image. Wow. So, but also you can place um, tentacles in the world with this app. So. What's the name of the app? The app is called Post Human. I'm going to give you some stickers. And so, wow. like, this is an example of like this is kind of my 2020 feels <laughs> kind of piece where we have this sort of abstract wriggling horror which is everywhere and kind of invisible. Yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> um, so, if people wanted to contact you all for art or follow you all on like Instagram or whatever, what uh, are your in contact information? Erin Co Studios. Oh, okay. So there's two different apps, like Post Human is one, and this, these all the happy space ones have their own, and it's called MindFlux. Uh -huh. This QR code will take you to the free app. Okay. Here, I have many. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, let me ask nice. you this. Wow, that's just, I never seen that. <laughs> like, I'm still mind blown by that app. I'm going to show you the other one. I got to put it on the iPad. It's easier to see on the So let me ask you this, what what inspired you to get into art? Ooh, that's a hard one. I think, you know, I've always been an artist, so I don't think it was a conscious decision. Okay. I think I was lucky enough that my parents didn't stop me from creating. Like I think a lot of people pass it very can be very early age. You make things as a child, and then people tell you, okay, now you have to stop and think about what you want to do in the world as a serious adult, what you want to be when you grow up. I think I'm very fortunate in that my parents were kind of okay for me to continue to pursue art through my whole life. Oh, okay. They didn't slap that down. Um, cool. My mom's actually a public art school teacher, so that is probably part of it. And she's told me, like, by the time a lot of people are, like, four, they're already, like, have a, an idea of, like, I can't do this. So I think it says something about our whole society, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that is, like, the, the norm. Um, okay, I see you got the Black Panther. Yeah, I made that when Chadwick passed. Yeah, that I was hurt. Thought, that was pain. Yeah, it was just another 2020 moment of, like, what wow. the fuck? Yeah. Um, and he was just so amazing. Yeah, you know? he was. He, he really was. Good movies, too. So I started to do a series of Black Panther, like, 60s imagery, but using him, like, to combine the idea of the Black Panther party uh -huh. and Chadwick as, uh, like, an amazing um, role model and someone who was, like, breaking barriers, smashing through walls and yeah. just providing, like, he was just incredible. If you look at his career, it's just like... Yeah, he man did. Had integrity from day one. It's, it's fucking man. astounding. Yeah, I hate he was so young. He was so young. Yeah, he was young. So yeah. So, but yeah, he was yeah, yeah I, trust me, I understand. I Sorry, feel every, I'm just talking about why, yeah, why yeah, he excites me. Yeah, yeah, trust me, I know. I <laughs> yeah. feel it. Everything you just said, I felt it. And every time I see his picture, like on Instagram, like, I'm like, man, this man yeah, gone, yeah. man. Like, yeah. 
how are they going to fill his shoes in the next Black they Panther? Know. Like they can't. They, they can't. can't. You know, so it's like I don't even know how they're going to make another Black Panther. Yeah, I, I don't know that they can. It's crazy. And, yeah. and like I know that he played more like serious roles. Yeah. Than, than the, you know being in a, like a superhero MCU. But yeah. actually, again, I feel like that is one of the more powerful things he did because it had mass mainstream appeal. Yeah. That's like the type of film that shows the world like what he could be, you know? Yeah. And it was not just like all black cast. I mean, I'm sure you already know all this, like the production team and the director. Yeah. And like that's the type of film that gets shipped everywhere. That's the type of sh film that goes that sh shows in China across the board. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they might not watch a political film per se. This is like almost subversively secretly political where it's like <laughs> infusing it into the mainstream consciousness you know right so i don't know i just for me that was like uh, anyway so that's that's why i was excited about him oh <laughs> i understand i wanted to celebrate yeah we could go on and on yeah, about we could him go on and on. sorry <laughs> that's all right that's all right so other than that it was nice talking to you all i was oh, like i said i just wanted to get your information how do i connect with you uh, i'd you love can, to see uh, your work um you can go to graffiti university comics 